Hey y'all and welcome to Peyton's Place. Here on Peyton's Place, I, Peyton, am going to tell you everything you need to know to be a successful student activist. I'm going to tell you all things involving college life, involving um, post-college life as a young adult. And I'm also going to talk about different current social movements, hot topics, things that are going on currently today in the news. I want to thank everyone who's been tuning in, watching all the shows, subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, everything. And if you have not already, hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell next to it, you know, so you can turn on your post notifications as well. Um, and on today's episode, I am going to tell you the best ways to spend your summer before your first year of college. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to say, which is one of the best ways to spend your summer before your first year of college is to get an internship. Um, internships can be like, you know, a little difficult to come by sometimes, but they look really good on resumes. Uh, they look really good when, you know, applying to colleges, but at this point you're already in a college. Um, but it also just gives you work life experience, which is also great. And it gives you a taste of different things that you might want to do once you get to college as far as like your major the field you want to go into what you want to study um and it's just also a great way to network and networking is going to be so key throughout your life but especially going into college because you might work with or work for some people who are alums of the university that you're going to um, which is also going to be a great way to connect with other people at the school but also going along with internships stack your money okay i'm gonna keep it 100 with y'all and i mean maybe everybody don't gotta go through this some people you know y'all might come from a very different financial situation but nine times out of ten when you're in college you are broke no money broke <laughs> like um not like you know dirt broke like you know it's all different levels of broke so i'm gonna just tell y'all like it is I had never felt like broke until I got to college. Like I came from a like very blessed situation with my parents that provided for me. I never really needed for anything. And like as a child, you know, I was like taken care of by them. Um, and not everyone comes from situations like that. So, you know, this might not be your first time experiencing like adulthood or like really having to like provide for yourself. But for a lot of people, college is that first time. And for me, I felt like I was broke because my parents told me they wanted me to focus on school and not get a job. They were going to, you know, help me when need be, things like that. So I was a full time student not working my first year of college and I felt broke like and like not broke to the point where I was like trying to figure out where my next meal was. But like I had got used to a certain way of living, you know, being able to get my nails done, get my hair done, you know, go out if I want to with friends, go get a meal, you know, pay for food. And I was, I had to like make real life decisions where I'm like, hmm, can't do this this weekend because I only got this much money left on my card and I need to, you know, make it stretch. So stack your money over the summer because it's going to come in handy if you save and prepare the summer before your first year of college you're going to be in a better position once you get there especially if you're not working if you are working then that's a plus you know you have money saved up but you also have revenue coming in so i would say get an internship hopefully that internship is paid um but internships provide experience ways to network you build connections with people but also stack your money because it's nothing like being a broke college student and i'm telling y'all this the experience is gonna humble y'all it really is like i'm grateful now five years later looking back that i went through that phase in my time but when i was going through it it sucked like i didn't want to have to choose between hanging out with my friends or if I wanted to go eat this meal or buy Chipotle or Qdoba type of thing, like you have to make real life adult decisions as a college student because you're not making a lot of money. Your main priority is school. Um, so stack your money, be in your bag this summer. Okay, another tip I would say to do the summer before your first year of college is to look at different 
um majors at your school and figure out like what you think you want your major to be so honestly nine times out of ten when you're going to into your first year of college you have no idea what you want your major to be i personally changed my major not one not two but three times yeah um so it's like whatever you go into college with is not going to be like your end all like this is your major you're signing your life away type of thing that's definitely not the case but i would say to look at you know what field you think you want to go into where you think you want to be in the long term in life and figure out an idea of what you want your major to be because when you go in knowing exactly what you want your major to be it's easier to graduate in four years um it's easier to like know your track and know what you need to do and what you need to take and that's why i'm saying know your major because at a lot of schools it's hard to get into classes because a lot of people are trying to get into these classes especially when you're taking those general education classes a lot of people are trying to get into those classes so if you know your major and honestly your first two years most people's schedules and like classes that they take are going to look very similar because you're taking all of those general education classes but if you know exactly what you need and like what your major requires you can kind of weed out some of those other ones so like for example in the end i ended up being a journalism and strategic communications major but i started out pre-pharmacy so i took chem 103 basic level chemistry which helped me in the long run because i needed those you know science credits but i could have took a way easier science class if i knew i wanted to be a journalism major and not be pre-pharmacy so instead of taking like chemistry i could have took you know a nutritional science class or something that's like easier um so like knowing your major or have an idea of what you want to do is going to be very helpful but if you don't know your major it's not the end all be all honestly a lot of people don't figure that out until they get there and they figure out you know hmm i like this type of class or i don't like this i went in um thinking that you know i was really good at chemistry in high school and i was like you know i feel like i can be a pharmacist like this is what i want to do because i like medical stuff but i can't really deal with blood and like that type of stuff so i know i couldn't be like a doctor or a nurse type of thing but i really enjoy helping people i wouldn't say i enjoy like medical but i enjoy helping people like that's one of my true passions in life um and i feel like you know a way i can help people is to be able to be a pharmacist and not have to deal with those things that i kind of struggle with as far as like you know the the really gory type of things um so that's i knew overall i wanted to help people i just didn't know how i wanted to do that so initially i was like you know i'm gonna be a pharmacist i'm gonna do this didn't work out but you know we still here you know i got my degree graduated in four years doing great got a job that i love living life you know it all works out so long story short i just want to say if you don't know your major we're going into college that's totally fine everything's gonna work out okay so don't trip if you don't know but if you do have an idea it'll help you plan ahead pick your classes and kind of figure out that track that you're going on um for college in general okay another thing that i would say is very good to do your summer before your fresh your first year of college is to take a summer class um so it doesn't necessarily have to be at the university you're going to but you know it might be beneficial especially if you're on scholarship or something they might be able to pay for it but i would say get yourself ahead of the game just like you know people who take ap classes ib classes different things like that um i personally didn't take any of those i took like one but i didn't even take the ap test yeah um but it's just a way to like kind of get yourself ahead of the game coming in so you'll already be able to have like a few credits coming in so then you can lower your credit load during the school year because i'm gonna tell y'all from experience initially so people suggest as a freshman or like you know ideally you take about 12 to maybe 14 credits like initially when you're just starting getting in trying to figure out how to balance um college level classes but i took i think 14 credits my first semester second semester i took like 17 because i felt like i was behind because i changed my major and i was trying to figure things out um and every year after that i took 18 credits plus summer courses every summer because i wanted to graduate in four years so if you go 
and take like summer a summer class the summer prior to your freshman year you can already have like three to four credits behind you so you can take 12 credits your first semester but ideally if you already have four credits then you're already at 16 credits <laughs> um so you know i would encourage people to like look into taking summer classes whether it's at your local technical college um whatever it is do the whatever fits you know the best financially and makes sense for the track that you're going on but also when you're taking college courses make sure that the courses you're taking are courses that are going to transfer to your university and a lot of times if you are living in the state um where your university is you're able to check that through different websites to see like what credits transfer and what don't and if you aren't living in a state where you're going to school i would just say go to your school's website they should have some type of portal something where they like break down like you know this course is equivalent to this course at our school and if you're still confused reach out to um advisors at this point you know being accepted you should have been contacted by some type of advisor um or like a counselor if you know what your degree is and you're like pre-business like you know reach out to the pre-business um advisors and figure out what course you can take to already get yourself ahead of the game another thing i would say do is look at the different organizations at the university that you're going to and figure out what it is exactly that you want to be involved in and also like look and see if they have like different um like welcoming events intake different things like that so you're not behind um so like me personally there when i came into the university that i went to i really didn't know many people so like i had no idea of like you know the different organizations on campus um especially ones catered to black students and one thing i'm like i wish i would have knew was maybe how to get involved in our black student union to like maybe participate in, in that as a student but a lot of times those things take place like really early in the semester where they have like elections or they have events where you get to know people um so i would say look at those things look at the different organizations look at their social medias and figure out what it is you want to get involved in how you can get involved look at contacts look at events that they're having taking place um when you come back to campus and just kind of like get ahead of knowing what it is that you want to do during your time on campus because being involved in student organization student organizations are so um they they help you in so many different ways so a lot of times i say that my sorority that i was in taught me more than i learned when i was in college because like you know college you got like your general education you're doing different things to like check boxes off to get that degree but being in my sorority was it's a business and it really taught me so many different things that i use to this day so like getting involved in organizations whether they be like you know based on identities um uh majors personal interests whatever it is they are so helpful in like character development building different skills and things that you'll take with you for life so before you get to campus use the summer to like look at different things that interest you because um universities have so many different organizations on campus you'll be surprised on like some of the things that they have as organizations and then you'll graduate and you'll be like wow i really wish i would have got involved in that so take this time to really do your research because you are never going to be more free than you are right now once you get to college all that's out the window like you busy you got school you might have a job or two um you stressed out mentally trying to you know balance mental health physical health if you're spiritual you know spiritual health and also have fun and have a social life so take this downtime because you know for some people it's not really downtime i understand that as well but take this time to really kind of like map out what it is that you want to do and how you want your college experience to look like and a lot of times that has to do with different student orgs that you're involved in and also student orgs can go a long way once you graduate as well as far as networking i keep saying networking y'all things that i keep saying you know make sure y'all remember because it's very important um uh, but networking lifelong friendships uh you you can learn different lessons how to like budget how to finance how to run a business or organization so look at the different organizations on your campus and figure out if there's anything that you personally would like to get involved in 
Okay, so I would also say something that you should do during the summer, um, doesn't have to be like right away in the summer, but create a list of different things that you're going to need um, in order to move. Like, because a lot of times for a lot of people, this is your first time living on your own, uh, first time maybe living with a roommate, a stranger, oftentimes that you don't know. So like create a list of different things that you think you're gonna need um, in your dorm or if you're able to live in an apartment your first year, wherever it is that you're living, make a list of those things because it's it'll help you to know those things ahead of time rather than like you have a week to move and now you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know what I need and you're also trying to figure out all kind of other things on top of that. So, um, and also I'm gonna do a video as well on like different things that you need when you're moving um, into your first dorm or your, your first year of college. So don't worry about what you need, I got you covered. But make the list. Another thing I would say do if you have the opportunity or chance is to connect with people through social media. So a lot of times universities will have like Let's say class of 2024, I think those are the freshmen, 2025 are freshmen now, I think. But um, class of 2025, um, University of XYZ. So like join those groups on Facebook, it might be some on Instagram. I mean like a lot of people are like, who gets on Facebook nowadays? But it's good for those groups. Um, also look at your university might have a specific website for first year students. Uh, so like they might have events coming going on when you come back to campus or when you get on campus. So look at those, but like use this as a time to maybe connect with people who are gonna be your future um, peers and students. But also like be careful because it's some weirdos online. So, but use this time to like connect with people if you have the opportunity to or even people in your city who are going to the university you're going to if you're like you know staying in state or even if you're going out of state to like a big school um it's oftentimes not too difficult to be able to find people who are going to your university and the last thing i'm going to say do which is maybe one of the most important things but take this time to really enjoy the time that you have with your friends and family because whether you're moving or going to college you know down the street from the crib or if you're going across the country this is going to be the last time that you have so much time to really dedicate to your friends and family because even if you're going to school you know in the same city your best friend might be going to school across the country and so it's like you know you're never not never but like this is the the time that you really have to enjoy these people and the people who've helped you get to this point because going to college y'all is not something that's easy it's so difficult so like shout out to you congrats to you because you're doing something that's very hard and very difficult just getting accepted into a college is very hard so enjoy this time with your friends and family those who love and support you and have helped you get to this point in your life um because you won't be able to be as close to these people physically anymore people you see every day seeing your parents every day your siblings every day and going to like seeing them like three four times a year during breaks or even if you're seeing them once a month like it's totally different so like take this time that you have right now this summer to really just cherish those who love and care for you and support you friends family anyone who's really been there for you and down for you really take this time to um to spend time with them because you're really not gonna have as much time ever again in your life to spend with them once you graduate from college you go work you could be across the country working or like you're busy either way if you're in the same area as your people but and then after that you know people some people want to start families or like they keep moving up in a um organization or where they work and they get more busy and busy so like utilize this time that you have right now to really spend with those people who love you and that was the last tip i have for y'all um i have a lot of college videos coming up because you know it's that season it's the summer we're preparing for um people to start school i mean people start school as early as like august um some people might start school in july but comment below anything that you want to see me talk about 
involving college, involving social movements, um, any current social movements that you want to know a little bit more about, uh, comment those and you know, we could talk about it. I'm here to help y'all. I'm here to get to know y'all. Um, so I'm excited to just really share all of my expertise with you all. And I also want to thank everyone who has been tuning in uh every week every wednesday at 11 a.m i want to thank everyone who subscribed those who like share and comment uh and if you have not already make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that little bell next to it to turn on your post notifications so you never miss an episode because i'm here every week on wednesday y'all dropping real life knowledge okay i wish somebody would tell me this stuff when i first was going to college because i was lost um but Every Wednesday, y'all know where to find me here on Peyton's Place, and I will catch you next Wednesday at 11 a.m.